ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition, where previously we scouted our way through the sewers. We managed to find an exit that goes outside of the city walls. We've left Dragon Inigo there to guard said exit. The place was crawling with smugglers when we went down there last time, and uh, I think the whole encounter proved pretty much precisely why Inigo and Strag are necessary to keep around because they're able to help Fathers deal with problems like that. Because we, you know, we have, we got our ass kicked by those smugglers multiple times when we tried to try to deal with them alone. Brought Strag and Inigo in there, and they clobbered those guys good and proper. So it pays to have decent henchmen, as it turns out, for dealing with things like that. Anyway, I was on my way back out of the sewers because I was going to just going to go back to the Winking Skeever and wait for the rest of the evening. We haven't actually found out which path through the sewers leads to the Winking Skeever's basement. And as I'm just, just thinking that to myself, making my way back through the sewers here, I noticed that passage in the water there, which we've not explored yet. At least I don't think we have. So... Let's go and have a look. Open to Skyrim. Oh, is this another way out? Must be. Let's have a look. Looks pretty darn claustrophobic, but... This could have been a way past the smugglers. How irritating. Never mind. I think the, 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 the smuggler exit was much more remote, though. Which is handy. It was out to the east of the uh, city somewhere, down at the base of the kind of mountain it's all built on. This? Yeah, this is right outside the docks. Okay, oh, and it's snowing. Oh, God, you imagine how cold this water must be. Right, where's the... Oh, there, there it is. Well, that's also kind of handy to know about, actually, that little entrance there. That's very sneaky. Yeah, if we were playing with... If, if instead of survival mode, I was playing with old, good old-fashioned Frostfall, I think we'd be dying of hypothermia right now. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with the fact that we're not dying of hypothermia, though, so... I'm going to chalk that in the win column. All right, that's back to the catacombs. I... Maybe you have to go through the Cloaca Maxima, then. Well, it's 12, nearly 1 o'clock in the afternoon. There's still plenty of daylight above ground. Maybe we should go and... Do you mind? Maybe we should go and uh, check out the Cloaca Maxima there, because maybe that will lead us to where we need to be. Because I'm pretty sure I've checked every passageway in this area. And I have not found anything that would lead us to the Winking Skeever's basement. So I suppose we're going this way now. Hopefully, I'm not going to have to, have to go back and get Strag and Inigo. But God knows what's lurking down here. nearly killed by a goddamn skeever. What is going on? The sooner I can get some armor and enchant it to give me a similar kind of boost to this with the Magicka regen, the better, frankly. I'd like it to be decent armor as well, you know, not just crappy old leather. Should we cast Muffle? Since if we are trying to be stealthy, we might as well have Muffle. Okay, I can hear someone muttering. Alright, a few ways to explore here. See what this guy's deal is. Shall we use a bit of ghost walk to get the 
drop on him. Oh, come on, really? A level one bandit. Hardly worth the effort. Studied armor, iron wakisaji. Never know what you're going to get, do you? It could be a level 20-something smuggler, or it could be a level 1 bandit. Ring of Minor Magicka. Not bad. What am I currently wearing ring-wise? Anything at all? Nope. I'm not. Astounding bear attacks. Interesting. One for the library, just as soon as I get a library. Certainly something on Fabulous's to-do list. Acquire a library again. Well, this is all quite impressive, isn't it? Who's this individual? Western Tunnel, okay. Need something? Nothing, just a gold piece for you to never tell anyone I was here. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Mm -hmm. Western Tunnel. I feel like this is probably the way we want to be going. Because the Winking Skeever is in the western sort of end of the city. I apologise if this is all a bit difficult to see on YouTube. It's actually relatively bright in here compared to some of the areas we've had before. Could have just sort of played this by ear and okay that's a manhole probably into one of the i think i'm in the right we're in the right neck of the woods because that manhole cover probably leads to the one that is more or less just outside the winking skeever actually um I, I could have just played this by ear and escaped via the winking skeever basement without knowing where i was going but a peddler Take a look. He sells poison. And skooma. Quite a bit of it, in fact. And lockpicks. I'll have some lockpicks. Wouldn't hurt to top up. And presumably this gentleman is not going to tell him anyone we were here. Because he clearly doesn't want people to know he's here either. Well... Uh, aside from his customers, I suppose. Good day. What's this then? <gasps> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The exit to the Winking Skeever. Okay. Grand. We now know the way. Let's let's run back through it, shall we? Try and get that fixed in my head mentally. Uh, it's not that way. Let's just close that. So I don't know how well this theft is going to go, really. Uh, theoretically, it should be fa fairly swift and painless, but um, I could also totally botch it, in which case we're going to be fleeing through the sewers at breakneck pace. Some of this looks Dwemer. It definitely looks Dwemer, doesn't it? This does not look right. Oh my god. 
Okay, I thought like a spider was burrowing out of the ground there or something, but there's something down there, probably a spider, that knows I'm here and I'm now going to sneak away. Where's Muffle? Ironically, kind of a loud spell, isn't it? I think when we get up here, we need to go right. Avoid the pit full of probably spiders. And go right. Because that takes you back to the canal works. And then from here, it's just... From, from, from here? Where? Which way is it from here, actually? That's the Namira Shrine. I guess it's to the right, then. Nobody's going to notice. Theoretically, anyway. Except for that mad woman. There we go. Solitude catacombs. Now, this time, can I try and go out the right exit? See, because when I came in before... Is this a weird situation where you've got two doors that go the same direction? Or something. I think there's a bit of a weird thing going on here. Where there's an external door that, that pops you out here. But it's it's one way. Well I, I we'll just pretend that a wizard did it or something, but yeah, we can't go back out through that weird door outside. We have to go back out through this way. It's very strange, but and if you don't understand what the hell I'm talking about, don't don't, don't worry about it. It's a, it's a, it's an issue that can crop up in the construction set if you forget to put a door going back the way that you never mind. Anyway, it's a bug essentially is what what we're dealing with here. It's a bit of a bug that I'm going to pretend is magic. Wait a minute, what? Now I'm now I'm just confused. Because half the time when I go back through that door, it seems to dump me out in the other in the Hall of the Dead around the other side there. I'm mega confused anyway. It's snowing, apparently. It doesn't look oh, super hello. cold. Solitude, but at this elevation, I guess it makes sense. Let's have something to eat. Oh, we need to... Uh, definitely consider buying some more food before we leave. Anyway, I'm going to be kind of waiting around until after dark, I think. And then we should commence our little heist and skedaddle. I don't think there's anything else here in Solitude worth sticking around for right now. Alright, ladies and gents, it's gone past midnight now. You wouldn't think so, judging by the light coming from the windows, but it is indeed 12, 12 a.m. Which means uh, there's still people wandering about, but most of them have gone to bed. Let's um, make sure this is the only thing selected and hope this works. See, there's people wandering around still all the time. It's very irritating. Probably trying to rob an inn, I suppose, especially in a busy city. Is it really right there? Oh, is it this strong box? Clairvoyance! Must remember to use that in future! Okay. Return the silver necklace to Vex. Time for us to skedaddle! Before anyone notices.
Okay. And you know what? Just because I feel like tying up loose ends. He's not dead. Oh no, he's not one of those stupid... Oh, okay, never mind. He got attacked by an invisible person, doesn't know who it was, I suppose. Stupid. Why on earth is he an essential NPC? I don't know. Ah, uh, anyway. don't even remember if hanging moss is useful for anything but it's just too tempting not to grab every time you see it you know ah uh, hello she doesn't see me right now I can't get away with ghost walk though it's only a thing you can use you know it'll, it'll teleport me back to where I am okay she's going to sleep that's fine. No need to stab you. To the right. Not into the spider's den. To the right. Just got bashed into the wall by the gate. Okay, and then from here, it's this way. Then left. To the eastern outfall, and then a little bit of a swim to the exit. Shame we can't take the boat out, really. Although, having said that, I realise that there's a boat in there. But once you get out here, once we finally finish loading, there's no way to get a boat back in. Unless I suppose it's high tide or something? I don't know. I don't know. Not that Skyrim has tides. Hello, gentlemen. Let's go. <coughs> what? What? Yes, I go as I do. It's 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 you. No! Let's get out of here, shall we? Now, where the hell are we? <laughs> I think we're just a bit further up the coast, aren't we? From uh, from the city itself. Yeah, the harbour's just on the other side of these rocks down under there. So, question is, okay, question number one, why is the water green when the sky is clearly sort of very dark blue? And question number two is, uh, what's the best way to get out of here? I was going to say without going for a swim, but we're probably going for a swim, aren't we? If we want to head back east, which is what we do want to do. Rather than, you know, double backing past the town gates. Uh, yeah, no, we're going to go for a swim. Hopefully you guys are going to follow. Oh dear, you're just standing there. That's not very good. Oh, yep, yeah, they are actually swimming now. Well, Strag is swimming. Yeah, they're both swimming. They're swimming. Okay, thank goodness for that. You guys are about to massively complicate the situation, weren't you? Not a lot of range on that at all, is there? Mud 
crabs with jewelry. What nonsense. Okay. I have to switch back to my dagger because that's the one that's actually hotkeyed and not the axe, but hey. No worries. Alright. Gents, where are you? It's getting very cold. Okay, there's Strahg. Where's Inigo? We have a we have a we have a specific thing for this, don't we? There he is. Alright. Where the hell are we now then anyway? We're on the northern coast of Skyrim somewhere. Just east of Solitude. And I can hear a lot of crickets. Which is weird, considering how cold it is. This doesn't seem like you know, your typical insect temperatures. Oh, just like that, they've all shut up. <laughs> oh god. You can also you can also make a what? What is this? You can also make a follower get behind you by drawing a weapon when you are colliding with them. Okay, we just learned something today. Oh my god, it's, it's got buckets of health. How about I steal some of those buckets of health? There we go. Oh come on! What got me then? Was it just some other spider hitting me with a range spell? Spell? Spitty attack thing. I'm getting very tired of being so squishy, you know. Getting very tired of it indeed. Never mind, let's carry on. We should probably try and make camp for the night. I doubt we're going to find anywhere civilized to hang out. Oh god, there's loads of them. Oh no, come on. Can't out catch a break anywhere I go at the moment. And to think this isn't even, like, this is just adept difficulty as well. Oh, no, I haven't got the difficulty cranked up. It's starting to get silly and annoying, you know. Those are some stompy footsteps. Alright, where are you, stupid spiders? Let's be having you. Oh yes, we got Inigo who seems to love spiders for some reason. Okay, went better that time. There's another one. Where's the other torch bug? Oh, it was right above the head. <laughs> that was that for comedy. Right. Okay. We're in a bit of a swampy area, aren't we? I guess Morthal's probably in this direction, isn't it? We're going kind of southeast right now. Very, very, very chilly swamp. Oh my god! Oh man, that's a nasty poison. Oh, it's a Chorus. I thought it was a spider. Chorus lurking in the long grass. Well, I don't like this place very much. It's full of gigantic creepy crawlies. Really dangerous ones. Rather beautiful, Inigo, but I'm trying to keep my eyes on what's ahead right now because it's dark enough that I can barely see where we're going anyway. And also, apparently, there's really very deadly things lurking out here. This marsh smells alive. Yes, it's alive with things that want to kill us. Is that a net someone set up? Looks like it. Fish barrel. 
could rob that, but they might be back. And I think I'm, I'm thinking of uh, camping here. I can smell insect everywhere. You say that almost as if it's a good thing. All right, let's get uh, let's get a camp set up, shall we? If I can remember bloody how. Uh. Items, small. Yeah, here we go. No, that's not how that works. There we go. It's like this. Uh. It is very interesting here. You, you're really keen on the swamp for some reason, aren't you, mate? Whatever there will do, I suppose. We are freezing. Yes, we are. We are. Magic. Uh, build campfire. Place here. I hope we've got enough firewood. This is not something I'd really thought about. Um, no, we don't have any firewood. Inigo, do you have any firewood, mate? You want to talk? Okay, let us see. Did I give have. you any firewood? No, I didn't. Oh, crumbs. Okay then. Do I have a wood chopping axe? I think I do. Yes, I do. Now, can I just whack a tree with this and get egg? Uh, get wood. Go, get, get firewood. I don't remember. This moist environment. Am I confusing this with Ashfall from Morrowind? Possibly. Yeah, I think I might be. Um, Alright. We need to fix this before we freeze to death. There's the power we need for that. Harvest wood. There we go. Spend 30 minutes gathering dead wood and branches from the nearby area. That's what we need. Chop dead wood, gather branches. Chop dead wood. I suppose. We've got the axe after all, so. Five pieces of dead wood, two extra pieces of dead wood. Oh, Inigo found two extra pieces. That's cool. He goes for searching for them as well. Huh. All right, use. Light it with magic. Strahd clearly didn't find anything. Uh, right, brilliant. Apparently I can cook a venison chop on it. Nice. Alright. Now we can warm up. Theoretically. I'm noticing that the temperature thing at the top there is remaining cold. In spite of the fire. This is the second time a, camp, a campfire I've made has not warmed me up. Not sure what the deal with that is. I'm gonna try and sleep for six hours. Fire leaves you feeling uplifted, but not warmed. Apparently, you feel warmer but still chilly. Okay, I guess it. Either the campfire, or maybe just because it's daytime. Um, either way, this thing was bloody useless. I, I'm beginning to wonder if there's a mod conflict or, or, or if campfire, which is the name of the, the mod for all this. I'm not wondering if that work, is not working correctly with survival mode or something. Either way, pack it up. Pack it in. And nobody came to collect this, so I think we'll just have it. And... Uh, Let's have a little peek at the map. Where did we end up then, eh? We ended up here, halfway through this swamp, and Morthal is indeed in this general sort of direction. So, let's continue in this general sort of direction. Oh, and probably have something to eat while we're about it as well. But then it's some chocolate made. Let's have two of those. That way we'll be probably well fed. What on earth? Is that a frost astronaut? It is, isn't it? Gentlemen. 
There's a frost astronaut. I can't tell if it's hostile or not, though. It's the weird thing. Oh. Phalian. Phalian's potent frost astronaut. Hello. If you stand before me to accuse me of sacrificing children or eating the hearts of the dead, you may save your breath. I have done no such thing, nor do I intend to. I simply wish to live my life in peace. Um, so then what do you do? I keep to myself. I offer spells and scrolls to those who need them, and wisdom and conjuration magic for those who wish to learn. Beyond that, I seek only to be left alone to pursue my research. Oh. Oh, so you're from Morthal then? Why'd you set, set up a shop there? As anyone will tell you, Morthal can be a dangerous place. <laughs> Clearly. My talents are useful here. I help maintain order, even if it goes unnoticed. What can you tell me about the area? The marsh is treacherous. You would do well to not wander at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we've learned. <laughs> Till next time. Okay. Well, we'll leave him to be about his business, I suppose. Not sure what the significance of this little site here is, but interesting nevertheless. Spoilers, I know what it's for, but uh, in character, we don't. I'm going the right way right now, southwest. No, we kind of want to go this way, southeast. The the Mar Morthal marshes look very different with the uh, with the mods, don't they? with all the trees and whatnot, it's quite a different vibe. I like it, actually. I really like it. In fact, I prefer it to the, the original game. The marshes feel sort of larger and also a bit more oppressive somehow with all of the forest in the way. And then just coming upon Morthal here in the middle of the trees. It's kind of neat, honestly. It's got a little palisade wall around it as well. Which feels, you know, sensible considering how dangerous the marsh is supposed to be. Morthal discovered. Here we are. Ah. Perfect opportunity to grab some firewood for the road. Well, the little heist went off without a hitch. It was much easier than I thought it would be in retrospect. I wasn't sure where that necklace was going to be. In a strong box, just on the shelf upstairs in the sort of public lounge area is not what I was expecting. I thought it would be, you know, tucked away in Corpulus's room or something. But as it turned out, it really was as simple as waiting until everyone had gone to bed, nicking it off the shelf and then running downstairs. Still, I'm glad we managed to get out of the city undetected. If you don't count that weird incident with the in, in, incident with the peddler who is immortal for some reason, um, <laughs> I'd rather just pretend that didn't happen, frankly. I'm picking up all these ingredients right now, and I'm realizing we've not done alchemy in quite some time. In fact, I think I've got a whole bunch of ingredients piling up at the moment that I've not even tested to see what they do. Like, I've got a slightly ludicrous amount of mud crab kiting on me right now, and I don't think we've even taste tested that. Anyway, welcome to Modded Morthal. It's, uh. definitely cooler than, uh, than vanilla Morthal. Way more interesting. The buildings have a unique sort of look to them. It's a little bit bigger. There's the wall around it, obviously. This is. It feels more like an actual proper. I don't want to say city, but certainly a town rather than just a crappy little village. Has a distinct look to it. Where is this? Ah, there it is. Well, there's another one. I feel the need to pick them up just to get rid of the noise, you know? Giant lichen, 
swamp fungal pods. So we'll add them to the collection as well. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Oh, I see. Keep your wits about you. Morthal's hardly a safe place. We're deep into magic hating Nord Redneck country, are we? Well, perhaps we won't be sticking around here for very long then. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. Got a little stable here. That's kind of neat. Uh oh, that's clearly not very good. Some sort of mod issue going on there. Hopefully the rest of the houses are all more or less as they should be. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Everything else looks fine. It's just that one house is missing a door for some reason. But I've seen things. The heck is this guy? Al Hassan. You look a bit out of place. Greetings. Uh are you the local blacksmith? Yes, sirrah. I own the curved sword. I know it doesn't look like much, but in time it will be the finest specialty shop in all of Skyrim. Specialty shop? You heard right, Sarah. The idea is to make this the only place in Skyrim that specializes in quality swords and armor native to Hammerfell. Unfortunately, it's been hard to get equipment shipped here to Morthal, even with the East Empire Company of Stones throw away. So, as of now, I can only sell what I can craft with the limited equipment I have here. I was under the impression a good craftsman never blames his tools. If that were the case, I could trade my hammer for a club and smelt iron with a stove. Oh no, I am afraid you are mistaken, Sarah. Tools matter every bit as the man. I get it. You couldn't cut it in Hammerfell, so you go where there is no competition. You wound me, Sarah. The blade you see before you is proof of my skill. Any red guard from here to Hegath will vouch for its craftsmanship. So it's very convenient there are no red guards nearby to uh, corroborate that. For all I know, you looted it off of one of your dead brothers. I don't have to subject myself to your slander, even if you are a customer. Either buy something or get out. Let's have a look at this scimitar. Damage 25. I mean, that is decent, to be fair. Not as good as the Eastern Dome of War Axe, but probably has a faster attack speed, yes. so... All right, what do you have for sale? Authentic goods crafted by a blacksmith of Hammerfell. It's sold by value. Well, it all looks a bit meh to me. A buckler. A dwarven buckler at that. Now, that's an interesting notion. I didn't really put Fathus down as the shield-using type, but a buckler... It's tempting. Mm, yeah, it's kind of tempting. I, I, we, we uh, don't have a ton of gold on us right now, but it's about the only thing of interest he's actually got. It to, 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 to be fair, I mean everything else kind of looks a bit rubbish. Uh, all right. If I don't like it, I can just give it to one of the other two. Yeah, it is just a it's just just a little buckler as advertised. You're 
different, aren't you? Not like anyone else. Not in Morthal or Skyrim. I'm thinking. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. I didn't think he was mad at all. I thought he was actually quite wise beyond his years. Uh, anyway, I. This could be really useful. A is just a means of. It's a thing I can quickly switch to when I want to go melee combat mode. Because as I've mentioned before, there's no easy way to just sort of dismiss a, a spell in your left hand with hotkeys. You have to go into the menu and do it manually, which is annoying. But also, uh, it means I can quickly switch to it in a situation where I want to use magic, but I'm being attacked at close quarters and therefore need to be able to block. Because there's something annoying and paralyzing about not being able to block while doing magic -y stuff. So I can go and this is the slightly cumbersome thing about it because if I just switch with the cockies it replaces the shield which is not ideal but if I I'm going to need to favorite it clear it clearly aren't I uh there we go if I switch manually with this I can go strangulation and shield which could be really good, honestly. That's what I'm thinking. So, yeah. I kind of like that, actually. I didn't think... I Like I said, I didn't really plan for the Fathers to use shields at all. But uh, the longer this series has gone on, the more and more I've begun to regret that decision a bit. But it's mostly just because he never used shields in the... Uh, in, in Morrowind. But... He did own some shields, to be fair. And he did even equip them on occasion. But he had no block skill, so they never really became very relevant. But blocking obviously works totally differently in Skyrim. And I don't know, this little Dwemer buckler just seems very him. It just fits somehow. So I think I'm going to go with it. Right. Anyway. Well, the weather seems to be taking a bit of a turn, but I don't really want to stop here. I mean... Modded Morphal is cool and all, but it's also uh, full of some very unfriendly people. So maybe we'll pop inside the inn first to warm up and then we'll go. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Don't get a lot of visitors, do you? Can't imagine why. It's pretty cool though, isn't it? This is a, oh no, more door issues. Do you know I ran into a few of these when I was testing this entire installation. And when I ran into said door issues, your eyes catch my gallant. The reason I thought there was a pro. Oh god, yeah. Now we can't get back out. We're abs we're actually trapped in the inn. The reason I thought these door issues were here was because I was testing the mods on an existing save game as opposed to a brand new one, and apparently that introduces some issues with doors with the mod that changes Morthal like this, but um, apparently the issue is still here. Which means I need to load a save game now, and until I figure this the hell out... <laughs> Goddamn tavern in Morphal is off limits, along with probably half a dozen other buildings around here. Uh, where even am I right now? Oh, I'm okay. We're here just after buying the buying the uh, the buckler. Trash on our favourite. There we go. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're not stopping in the inn. Sometimes. Because I clearly have some modding shenanigans to take care of behind the scenes so I can fix this place. I, I don't even know where to begin with it, though, frankly. I'm not sure what the issue is. If it's a load order issue, it's clearly one that hasn't been caught by loot. And I thought I had every conceivable compatibility patch under the sun for this place. I made extra special careful sure to make sure I had them all and yet oh dear 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 